Hello and welcome to class activity number 15. So today we are going to uh, set a GPO to control the password policies. So we're going to create a password policies for all users when they log in. So if they misspell their password three times, we're going to lock out their system for about 30 minutes or so till we unlock their account. All right, so the, that typically happens. You don't want, you want to make sure um, that users just don't do brute force and keep guessing their passwords. So this way to prevent brute forcing for somebody trying to guess their passwords. So let's do that. All right, Microsoft already has a GPO, a default GPO for that. All right, let's log into the system first. Let's uh, boot up the domain controller and let's go to and log in. All right, remember, I love server 2022 is our password. Okay. And um, let's launch the group policy management app that we already have. All right, if you go to group policies right here, and uh, under the default policy domain, right? So you right click and you edit that. Okay, and uh, this is going to be a computer, right? So it's under computer configuration, span policies, span the window settings. And we want to expand the security settings. Let's move this a little bit here. And we want to expand. You have the, you can click on the account policies. They should come up to your right. All right, so we have the password policy, the account lockout, and the keyboards. We're not going to deal with the keyboards. All right, so click on the password policy. Double click on it. All right, so enforce the password history. Every 24, the la you know, the 24 password remembered. So what that means is you cannot use the last 24 password that you have used before. You got to use a new one. All right, we'll leave that as, as is. The minimum password age, I'm sorry, the minimum password age, double click on that. Let's change it to 60 days. All right, so after 60 days, you'll be prompted to click on apply and then OK. After 60 days, you'll be prompted to change your password. Uh, minimum password age is one day, so you don't want to change it after every day. That's ridiculous. So I'll leave it at one day. Minimum password length. So let's make it eight characters. So change that to eight characters. Um, so we'll, we'll do that. Second. So welcome. That's seven. And one is eight. So that's eight characters. That's good. So click on OK. Minimum of eight. All right, minimum password length audited. We, we don't have to worry about that. Password must meet com complexity requirement. That's enabled. That means you have to use capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and and or uh, symbols. That's good. Leave that alone. Relax the minimum password links. No, no, no. That's it. Take a picture of that and put it at the bottom of your map, of your class activity. Now click on the account policy lockout uh the duration so click on the lockout duration we want it to be um the duration let's make it for 30 seconds click on that 30 minutes is fine so after 30 minutes if you've missed your password you're going to be locked for 30 minutes after three tries you're going to set it up for three tries and you'll be locked out for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you'll get another try. So click on OK. All right, so 30 minutes. Five thresholds. We don't want five thresholds. So click OK. The threshold lockout is going to be three. So change that to three. Click OK. 
and reset the account after the counter for 30 minutes yeah so let it reset and it starts all over all right you start counting for 30 minutes so take a picture of that and put it at the bottom of the lab so you can leave it as is all right that's it that's for everyone that's the default for everyone so now let's test it out okay so we leave that alone it's enabled we are going to go to the client is my client running or not yet it says that it is running the domain controller is closed No, the domain controller is running but my client is not on okay so let's boot up the domain control uh, the client okay i'm going to minimize you don't need the domain controller let me just bring up a client All right, let's log in. So um, let's try to log in with Jane Doe. Jane Doe. And let's say you don't know her password. You type in anything and you hit enter. And then you type in again. And you type in the third time. And it says your account is currently locked. You see, the fourth time it didn't work out. So take a picture of this. And now you can't even do it. Even if you type, make sure you took a screenshot of that. Now, even if you type welcome to, it's still locked. So how do we unlock her account? Let's go back to the domain controller. All right, we don't need this now. You guys remember how to do how to unlock somebody's if somebody has a password uh forgot their password so go to active directory users and computers let's open that up and we need to reset her password and unlock her account you could do it all in one step all right so go to the users well there they are go right directly there jane though i can right click on her and go to reset password all right and look unlock the user account make sure you check that type her password as welcome three and uh, let's do it again welcome three all right they got to change their password when they log in again and it'll be what we'll make it welcome for make sure you want check it take a picture of this so this is how you reset and unlock somebody's account. Click OK. Okay, yeah, the password has been changed. Let's go back to the client. He should be able, she should be able to log in. So tap, type welcome free. And there you go. Take a picture of this. Because now they can log in. All right? A screenshot. Click OK. Now type welcome four and do it again welcome four all right so now mike smith and jane doe they both have welcome four passwords and that ends this class activity now you know how to set reset passwords set password policies account policies re-enable accounts and so on all right and i'll see you on the next class activity